In the last video, I built this solar panel rack. It's been sitting here for a few months doing nothing. So today we're finally putting it to work. I'm connecting it to a 5,000 watt DIY portable power station that I built a while back. The tools I used for this project were a wire cutter, stripper, ferrule crimping tool, and just the usual basic household tools every adult should have. The main components are their solar array, PV cables, a PV disconnect switch, and the solar power station. Links to those videos are in the description if you want more detail. First, let's talk about the PV cables. I went with 100 feet of 10 gauge cable, long enough to move the panels around if I need to, and thick enough to avoid voltage drop. I bought mine from this company called Temco on Amazon. It's not the cheapest option, but their products have a good reputation. I also have their crimping tool as well. By the way, I'm not sponsored by this company or anything. I just had a good experience so far. For the PV disconnect switch, this 30 amp DC switch works like a breaker Turn it off anytime you need to work on the system. It does a job, but the box is very tight inside. When I try to use ferrules on the connections, they didn't fit. And to mount the box anywhere, you actually have to take it apart. If I were to do it again, I'd get one with a bigger enclosure. It's rated waterproof with compression fittings and a gasket seal. I mounted it under the solar panels to give it a bit more rain protection and replaced the short wires it came with, with longer custom made ones. The solar panels I picked, there are six of them and each one is 440 watts. When you pick panels, make sure you know your inverter's maximum and minimum voltage. My inverter maxes out at 500 volts DC and it needs at least 120 volts to even start charging. Each panel puts out about 39 volts. So six panels in series gives me roughly 233 volts, which is perfect for my setup. I found these locally for about $172 each, brand new. That's a steal for 440 watt panels. If you're shopping, always check local solar suppliers or Facebook marketplace before paying for shipping online. Even if you buy a panel online and they say free shipping, that shipping fee is built into the price. You'll never find a 440 watt panel for that price online. So always check locally. Mounting the panels is another thing to think about. These big panels weigh around 55 pounds each. So ground mounting made a lot of sense for me than trying to haul them onto a roof. As far as the power station goes, you can use an off the shelf unit like a Bluetti or a Jackery. But I'm using my DIY 5,000 watt power station with an all in one inverter and a lithium battery. I'll link the build in the video description. Now let's wire everything up. I mounted the PV disconnect switch right on the solar rack. The panels are wired in series, negative to positive across each one. Because the rack is 24 feet long, I made two 12 foot extension cables to reach the switch in the middle and this means I replaced the short factory wires with these custom ones.
Then I ran the long cables from the PV switch to the shed where the power station sits. For now, I just laid it on the ground. I'll bury it later. Inside the shop, I made short extensions with ferrules for the inverter's PV inputs. Always double check polarity. If you see the shot here, I made a mistake, but I corrected it. The red wire, which is the positive, gets the female connector. And the black or negative wire gets the male connector. And again, this is for the extensions that you're building for the actual inverter. Once that was done, I connected the panels and waited for the next sunny day. Next morning, perfect sunshine. By noon, the power station was charged to 99% all from solar. I didn't even need to tweak the settings. Right now, it powers my chicken coop fan 24 seven, plus my camper, fridge, and lights. The system's barely breaking a sweat. Once the shop's finished, I'll add a mini fridge, air conditioner, and TV to use up more of that power. And that's it for this project. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions.